Hi everybody, I'm back again, and I'm going to be doing a purse collection. Now, I've tried to film this twice now through YouTube, and it won't upload, and it won't, it keeps telling me it's been rejected, so we're going to try this one more time, and hopefully we can get through it. My first thing I have is my little Louie. Did I mention this is going to be a purse collection, so if you're not into purses or handbags, click out now. So the first thing I have is my little Louie. Uh, it's a little boulder, I got it from my aunt, and yeah carry it with me on dates or whatever. A couple of these things you're going to see again in my Vegas video, so just a forewarning. The other thing is this little Louis wallet. My aunt got it for me for my birthday or graduation, one of the two. And I love this thing so much, I brought it with me through to Vegas through the airport security TSA. It's worked wonders because it's got this little clip right here. So you can clip it to your pants pocket and not have to worry about it. have to worry about dropping your wallet, having somebody try to grab your wallet. When you're going through an airport, especially like the big Las Vegas, uh, Las Vegas airport, or even the airport I flew out of out of here, out of Rhode Island, which is the TF Green, which is really, really tiny, but it did come in handy to hold my license and keep it right close to me, so I could get it out when going through security, when I change planes and everything else. But yes, I did bring this with me to Vegas. My other little clutch is this little silvery clutch. Here, it's kind of big. It's got like, you know, one of them kind of closures. And a little wrist strap if you want it so you don't lose it. I know I'm notorious for dropping crap, so, yeah. This also went with me to Vegas. It's this little tiny gold clutch thing with a little wrist strap so you don't lose it, drop it, whatever. Because I'm notorious for kind of just going like that while I'm walking because I talk with my hands a lot. Yeah. I could also fit a pair of flat shoes in here. And roll it up and fold it up. And just kind of go like that with it. And it's good. See? It's still good. We're good. You'll see this again in my Vegas video. Out of my bigger ones. This is my big Coach Poppy purse. I love it. It's pink and gold and very summery and reminds me a lot of summer. My other bag is my black Ed Hardy bag. I love this bag. It's traveled with me pretty much across the eastern seaboard and back. And yeah, it's been my go-to. My other really big pink bag is my big pink and silver Kathy Van Zeeland bag. I had this bag all throughout college. It never failed me. You can see my old life, my old phone case is still clipped to it. And yeah, it was my favorite bag in college. And it's actually another one of my favorite bags for the summertime because it's so shiny and it's kind of suede leathery and very, very cool. My other bag is gonna be this big brown fringy fringe and tassely red by Mark Echo bag. I know it's not an Ed Hardy bag, but kinda looks close enough to it. It's good for when you're wearing neutral colors so you don't have to carry a black bag. And yeah, just love the print. My other bag I love because of, well, you'll see why in a second, but it's my red, purpley, pinky, color because it's got some discoloration here so I'm saying purple but um juicy bag and I love it it's very comfortable very very cute very neutral pinky ready brown and look it's got a J on it for my first initial yeah that's why I love it so nobody knows everybody knows it's my bag it's, my bag. it's like petting it an animal it's very furry my other bag is my little Playboy bag because I love bunnies Anything with bunny on it, I love. I want a bunny. And it's just a little pink canvasy bag. Good for if you go to the, the beach and you really don't want to throw a lot of crap in it. I'm not like a big beach bag, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But yeah, I just like the canvasy material. It's very easy to clean. Now, this is my big beach bag. It's pink. It's polka dotted. It's cute. It's got little round handles. It's got no zipper or anything, so you can just continue to stuff crap in it. I bought this bag down in Florida for going to the beaches and stuff, so. It, it served its purposes. It can even hold a laptop. I throw my laptop in there. Uh, now, this bag I was actually made for me, and I was kind of a tote baggie. But it was made by a classmate of mine in high school by the name of Megan. And I miss her. And shout out to you, Megan, because I still have the bag. It could use some hot glue. In a couple places because it's kind of falling apart but yeah it's one of my favorite bags and I 
I still love it. My other bag my mother wanted, and I continued to try to give it to her after I was going to go down to Florida, but she never took it from me, so I took it with me to Vegas. It's this big, kind of slouchy bag I got from Express. It's got little zebra print, I guess, on the inside. But it holds a lot. Like, it's good for, like, an overnight bag or something. Because I've actually brought this on overnight trips and just thrown stuff in here. Because it is that big. My next bag is a little tiny Playboy bag. Pink little Playboy boulder bag. It's really good if you're going to, like, the movies or something. You just want to bring your phone and some keys and your wallet. Maybe lip gloss. Don't try to overstuff that thing I have. It doesn't work. Now, my mother got me this big pink bag. And even though the little, like luggage tag on it has zebra uh not zebra cheetah the inside is cheetah as well now it was originally meant to be for like a laptop bag but the bag is very very structured so i've carried it for like overnights i've thrown clothes in here so it has multi-purposes we're almost done i think god i hope but yeah you're gonna see this bag again in my vegas bag it's a bluey greeny sparkly just large tote bag I got it from um, Sally Beauty Supply if you spent a certain amount of money you got the bag and yeah I brought this bag with me to Vegas this was one of my only carry-ons I was only allowed two and I brought two yeah I'll explain why in my video but yeah this bag can hold the laptop because that's what it held it can hold a pair of clothes it can hold your makeup everything now, I got this bag years ago, I think at Kohl's, but it's good for the summertime because of the material and the pattern. It's kind of a braided, knitted material, and look, fringe. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just a good all-around bag. It's got the little button closure, and, yeah, if you just want to throw some things in there, you kind of want to be a little hobo, not hobo, but, uh, boho or hippie chic. It's a really good bag to have. That and it's neutral. goes with everything. Finally, we're getting towards the bottom. I can see the last couple items. Uh, this is my big brown coach bag. Yes, I know it's dirty. Don't judge. I gotta clean it. One of these days. I keep saying that like five, three, four years ago, but I haven't cleaned it yet. But I love it. It's one of my favorite bags. It's very structured. It's very big. Um, yeah. Can never get rid of it. And I'm pretty sure my hairstylist said if I ever did, she wants it. This the condition, which is weird because I'm really rough on my backs. Uh, my other bag is my Betsyville by Betsy Johnson. It's this little blush nude color with some black lace print overlay. It's vinyl. It's cute. I love it. Pretty much carry that on every date I go on. I don't know why. Yes, I am filming this in half of my pajamas because I just literally got dressed and was like, I'm only going to do half. Get dressed half away because my video somehow got lost thanks YouTube and rejected nine times thanks YouTube my other Kathy Zeeland bag is this one and look at it it's soft it's one of my favorites it's soft and it's pink and it's got these little study rhinestone details on the bottom and it's pink and it's silver, just like my other Kathy bag, and it's, I like the sound the handle makes. <laughs> yeah. We're down to the final few, so good. Um, this is my other handbag. I got it from Victoria's Secret. I'm sure it came with some perfumes and some lotions. And, yeah. It came in handy when I needed it for work to carry stuff in, but yeah. It also doubled as a lunch bag, surprisingly, because it's kind of canvassy. And that's what I used to carry my lunch in. We're down to the last two. One of the last ones is a bag that I currently am carrying and it's filled to the brim with stuff. It is this Dooney and Burke bag. I got it from TJ Maxx a few years ago and it's been my little buddy ever since. Now, lastly, I saved the best bag for last. Are you ready for this? Can you even handle the cute adorableness of this bag right now? It is teeny tiny. It's from a brand called Fuzzy Nation. And it's got a little tiny pocket. You can't really fit much in there. It only goes like to his legs and to 
pretty much the end of his stomach. And I got it for Christmas from my mother, and it's this cute, adorable little puppy, and I love it. So cute. Look at the cuteness. Look at the puppy. It's going to be Monkey's puppy. Do you think Monkey carrying that thing? Speaking of Mr. Monkey, he's hiding on the side of me. But look at him. He's in a little Playboy jacket because he was cold. Because it was cold here last night. But yes, that's Monkey. And t tomorrow's vi Well, actually now it's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is going to be on relationships. Because I pretty much got called half through the night on relationships and relationship problems. So get ready for that. Talk to you guys later. Bye.